This is Merlin. He is a um, Tibetan Spaniel. I always forget that word, Tibetan. And this is Pai, who is a Jack Russell. I've never had to go out and look for a dog. They've always come to me. They've always been dogs who are needing. And so, you know, they really always, it's like, it's as if I've had an enormous family of children, one after the other. I was uh, shopping in the local supermarket. It was a filthy, filthy night, pouring with rain. And on the other side of the road, walking along, was a tramp who was so drunk he could hardly walk, dragging behind him a little Jack Russell on a piece of string. And little dogs, when they don't want to walk, they just sit down and they're dragged along on their little bottoms. And that's what was happening to this little dog. And I thought, oh, this is dreadful, that poor little dog. Suddenly, I heard a voice, a man's voice, saying, are you looking at that drunk tramp and that dog? And this man said to this tramp, oh, that's a lovely little dog you've got there. And the tramp was so drunk, he went, bruh, 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 bruh. And without knowing it, without realising what I was saying, I said, do you know I've always wanted a dog like that? How much would you want for him? And the tramp said, five pounds. So I brought this little one home, this little Jack Russell, and when he got into the flat, he walked into the kitchen, and he found himself a corner and just lay down. And every time I went near him, he went, growled at me and showed his teeth. And I thought, well, I'm just going to leave you, and eventually you'll get used to me. You silly baby. Aren't you a silly baby? Oh. And I went to bed, and I was woken up early in the morning by a wolf, little wolf. And there he was, standing by the bed. So I picked him up, and I put him on the bed. And the next day, I took him to the vet and had him defleed. And he became a partner to Merlin, and Merlin and he adore each other. They play together, they sleep together, they eat together, they walk on a double lead together, and it's, it's as if they were, you know, twins almost, but they look so funny, because there's this beautiful, beautiful Tibetan Spaniel called Merlin with all this lovely hair, and obviously an aristocrat. And here is this little Jack Russell, who's all different colours, white, brown, black, looking really rather common. But he was so sweet. And somebody said to me, that looks like dignity and impudence, those two dogs. Are you beautiful? You're very handsome. Yes, you are, aren't you? You're very handsome. Yes, you are. I have um, uh, special dog food. Come on, boys. Come on. That's right. That's it. And I chop it all up and into small bits on a plate, put it in the oven, warm it up, bring them out of the oven, and I've got two plastic plates, and I divide it. Can you say thank you for your dinner? Yes, oh, you're a beautiful boy. Then I, I brush the dogs. I brush Merlin with a special wire rake because he's got all that lovely hair. This usually makes you scream, doesn't it? You don't like it. No, I didn't. Yes, I know you don't like it. You pretend it hurts and it doesn't. Put my coat on and the leads. I have. I either take them on two separate leads or a double lead. And we go for a walk in the park. And we walk in different ways every day. One way we'll go to the tennis courts, another we'll go to the wild garden, another we'll go to the playing fields, so that they have different smells and everything. And we walk for about two hours. Hello, little one. Hello, little one. 
Hello, how are you this morning? You look very well, very small. People walk past and they think, this man's mad, he's talking to his dogs. <laughs> but that's how I am, that's how I am. I think, I think I'm a bit eccentric, but I wouldn't change, I wouldn't change for the world. Oh, lovely. And you've had a lovely walk. And then I bring them back and we have lunch together. And then sometimes, if the afternoon is nice, I take them into the park again for an hour. And then just before bed, I put on their leads and I walk them round the block. This is called the emptying walk, because dogs are like human beings. They want to faire pipi sometimes. I mean, I'm perfectly happy to stay in my flat in the evenings with my dogs and not go out not go to the cinema, not go to friends. and I'm perfectly happy, you know, like you would be if you had a family, you know? And I just, I just love them. I look forward to having uh, many, many more years. And I only ha hope there are going to be a lot of years with me. But in case there isn't, in case there isn't, I've made arrangements with friends that if, if when my time comes, one of the friends will take Merlin and another friend will take Pi when, and they will be looked after and loved as I do because these people who, who uh, love their dogs like I do, uh, uh, we, we think about dogs in the same way. They're, they're, they're almost human, you know, and, and uh, they become the ruling factor of our lives. A lot of people think I'm mad. I don't think I'm mad because I'm a very happy man. <laughs>